my perspective on corporate social responsibility is that uh, that it is a response to uh, it's a response to the fact that maybe we forgot about what business is and should be about. And business is and should be about people coming together and creating more value together. And somewhere along the lines, um, and I think I might put some fault on our economist friends here, we within the business schools, um, I, I think lost our way a little bit in uh, autonomizing the individual and forgetting about the, the fact that we're people. And so for me, corporate social responsibility and at its core is about engaging with stakeholders, uh, in my opinion. And so it's a, it's a means through which we can get back to actually seeing business is about stakeholders, i.e. people coming together, creating value together. There's a, there's a dominant story about business that's in the culture all over the world. And that dominant story says business is about the money. Uh, it's about profits. It's about being a greedy little bastard not trying to do each other in. And uh, as Robert said, I, the, there are weaknesses in that story. One of the weaknesses is business has never worked like that for the mo most part. Business is a human institution. It's always been like that. Every business has always created value for customers, suppliers, employees, communities, and the people with the money. Uh, and thinking about how businesses create value for stakeholders uh, is really central to, under, to having a, a useful, realistic story about business. I see CSR in the way most people think about it as sort of an antidote to that old story. Uh, I, I would say we need a new version of CSR. Uh, we can keep the initials, but let's call it corporate stakeholder responsibility. Uh, because business is about being responsible to those groups and individuals that you can affect, that can affect you, that you create value for, that you jointly create value for. Uh, CSR as a separate thing from what businesses actually do, uh, I think is a mistake. Uh, it has to be integrated into the very nature of the business models uh, that are there. Business school students should care about, about CSR, about other uh, ways of saying that business is a human institution. If you want to be able to create value, whether you're uh, using a, a startup or you're working for a big company, you have to understand that business is about customers, suppliers, employees, communities, and people with the money, and being responsible to, to those groups. So uh, business is ought to care about it, because that's what business is. You can't be a good business person without thinking about how you create value for your stakeholders. You just can't. You can't build a good organization that, that lasts. Yeah, and I, I think on that, that point about building a, a, a good organization that lasts, yeah, you know, you just think about the kinds of organizations that people are drawn to. And they tend That's to be right. these, as, and you've said this many times before, they tend to be these purpose-driven organizations. Yeah. And purpose-driven organizations rally around some real need in the world, a real need that people actually have a real need for this. And I can't think of a more invigorating environment in which to be part of than a, a group of people that actually share some common goal to affect some change for the positive on something that really matters. Yeah, mo mo most people want to be a part of something bigger than themselves. That's mm -hmm. who we are as human beings. And to think about it as just the money, there's nothing wrong with, with making yeah. money. There's nothing wrong with getting rich. There's nothing wrong with that. But nobody wants on their tombstone made money. <laughs> generally, uh, generally, people want to be remembered yeah. for something that they did. Yeah. You know, something that they did yeah. that, that helped be, yeah. people, that was a part of something bigger than themselves, yeah. whether it was solving poverty or winning a championship or building a great school or, uh, you know, uh, really being, making great videos. Mm -hmm. uh, they want to be a part of something that's, that's, that's bigger yeah. than themselves. Human beings are collaborators. Evolution has picked us because we're good collaborators. It's how we've been the masters of the world, in a sense. In the digital era, there are no secrets. Uh, there's, there's no way to, to hide anything that you do. Uh, you have to be hypersensitive to customers, suppliers, employees, communities, and people with the money because uh, you could literally do something that you didn't intend to do 
uh, people could find out about it, share it on Facebook or Twitter, a campaign starts and you wake up in the morning and your stock price has gone down 10 points and you got enemies out there picketing, et cetera. So the other side to that is the digital age makes possible many new ways to create value for your stakeholders, many new ways to, to reach them, uh, et cetera. And if all you think about is discrete economic transactions, not these more uh, human stakeholder relationships, thinking about those discrete economic financial transactions is going to get you into trouble. The global financial crisis proved that to everybody. That was brought to you by a digital world thinking about discrete economic transactions rather than what are the effects of subprime mortgages. That was brought to you by the digital age uh, in which people didn't think about what's the effect on my, on my employees? Yeah. What's the effect on my customers? You know, uh, and, the, and the world blew up. Yeah, and I think with, uh, with, with every great technological advance, we also need to think what are the social implications of this? And where we, uh, where we look at the, the, the positive opportunities, but also consider potential negative consequences. And just because we can build something, maybe we better think about then what, what we ought to do with it when we build it and, and, and what could become of it. And that's something that, that I think that if you look throughout the ages, the great philosophers, Max Weber being one of them, who, who, who thought a lot about this. And my way, way background is as an engineer. And uh, some of the systems that we built and some of the manufacturing systems that we built, I had some problems that we weren't considering some of the human elements of it. Mm -hmm. So I think the digital age right now is such opportunity for technological advancement. And with that requires a responsibility, and I would argue an opportunity for us to consider how can we best harness this so it's in, it works in the best interest of more people, um, as many people as possible. Mm -hmm. CBS Prime is, uh, uh, is a great partnership. CBS is one of the uh, leading sources of thinking about corporate responsibility in the entire world. Yeah. Uh, the group of people that you have here is fantastic. What CBS has done to integrate uh, its own ideas about social responsibility and stakeholders and sustainability into its programs, you know, is... Uh, I mean, they're really one of, one of the leading uh, places in the world to do that. Uh, I think there are challenges uh, that are here. You know, the challenges are uh, how do you get more faculty uh, that are not associated with the programs? How do you get them engaged in the program? How do you get the core finance and accounting? And, uh, and CBS has done a good job of this, but there's more that has to be done. Changing the story of business can't be just the job of CSR and ethics people. It's got to be the job of a much broader range of faculty. CBS has the opportunity to do that yeah. because it has such a broad interdisciplinary uh, group of fa faculty. And I'm very excited about the future to do that. I, th I think we need more effort in terms uh, of sustainability and, and CBS Prime and the field in general in, in broadening the reach to other business school fa faculty. Yeah. We, have to, we have to transform business schools. We have to transform business, business schools so I don't learn how to be a greedy little bastard in one part and then I learn, okay, this is a human thing in the other part. And by the way, it's up to you, Mr. and Ms. Student, to figure out why those things aren't contradictory. Right. Because as a school, we can't do it. So we've got to work that out, yeah. it seems to me. I'm, I happen to think CBS is one of the few places, I think Darden, where I am, is another, who have an opportunity to work that out. Yeah. And, and I think that playing the role of a forum, a convener here yeah. at, at CBS, and inviting more people to the table, and very much including the students, is the students, I think, are the foot soldiers in affecting change for the positive. Well, they're the ones that are going to do it. They're going to do it, and they can also pressure some of us older folks who maybe are set in our ways a little bit into challenging us a little bit. You're looking at me when you said that. But I'm <laughs> teaching you like a mirror, and I'm looking back at myself here. Yeah. Um, and I think that that student involvement is something that's very important for CBS Prime.